I don't get knocked high really. So, really Arsenal hard. 2, Aston Villa 1. Kenny Ken's at the game, he's outside the ground. And Kenny, mate, in the end, we got the job done. But that was a whole lot closer than it probably should have been, mate. We should have been 5 nil up at half time. We rued our chances. Mm. Uh, Douglas Louise scoring direct from a corner. But again, the bounce back ability, fourth time this season, we've conceded a goal and then bang, Martinelli with the winner. What did you make of that? What was the atmosphere like? What was the um, the the atmosphere in the ground? What was what was the feeling in the ground when they equalised? Tell us, tell us, man. Give us your thoughts. Well, you know, you know what's happening is that it, it took everyone. It, it was been coming because I think in the first half, and you were one hundred percent right. That was probably one of the best performances I've seen for years. You know, I know, I know we, for years because I think it's definitely the best first half I've seen under Mikel Teta's reign. No doubt about that. We were absolutely rampant. We, we went through them. We had bodies in the box. We always had a spare man. And it was like the, the football was so quick. Like, the only way Villa can stop us from playing is by getting in their faces, you know, putting their feet in and, you know, like stalling for time and, you know, committing them, you know, blatant yellow cards. It's like they were, it was like they were just taking one from the team as soon as the game started. I couldn't believe it that it took to about 27, 30 minutes for us to get the goal. Mm. Yeah, you know, because, you know, the, you know, Martinez was, um, you know, like a bit fumbly, I thought. Because I know he made a fumble for our first goal, but he made a kind of a fumble before. And it was like they were putting bodies when it hit, when it, when it was rebounds and everything. And then Saka missing that chance. But, you know, Gabriel Jesus was as sharp as a razor. There isn't much of him, by the way. He is as skinny as anything. And oh, small as How, how he is sending Tyrone Mings I know. into oblivion twice. I know. I know. When, like you said, he's skinnier than me, Kenny. Yeah, yeah, like, how is you that know, even you know, possible? Yeah, but you know, that there's the old saying, thin but strong. And he has to, he must encapsulate that saying, thin but strong, because he is, he is as strong as an ox. For a little guy, he's strong as an ox. But, you know, he took his chance really well. And then, you know, there was a, that save and that shot from Martinelli in the half volley. Jack and Revolt as well. And I thought Jack had a good game as well. He was and I super thought, first half. And I thought, you know, I thought, the only thing about you know the first half was that we were really disappointed because we weren't about three or four up. But the atmosphere was just cracking. You know, I think what's happened is a, f- a very good feel good factor amongst the crowd, mainly because we're winning. Most importantly, we're winning. I think it's gone past the fact that we haven't seen each other for a long while. I think the sort of um, love you hugs were, was more last season. But I think generally there's a lot of people who. You know, there's a few people who work at a club thinking, oh, we can go and win the league. But they're young anyway. But there is a definite bounce, bounce back ability amongst the fans. And, the, and I have to say, the fans are really, really behind the team. And, you know, they're, it seems like they're behind the manager as well, especially with the song rain down, down our necks, especially I mean, even after a tackle. But, you know, it's one of, those, one of those things where if anything happens this season, our home form has to be imperious because that crowd, if they're like that all season, then we're, 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 we're going to be very, 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 very difficult to beat. And I'm talking, you know, for teams like Liverpool and Man City, they ain't going to want to come here if the crowd's like that. All right, 100%, 100% mate. Listen, that, that first half, um, I felt we started a little bit sloppy first 10, mm. 15 minutes. It was, weren't winning our duels individually or collectively. And mm. when Dia had a chance where he ballooned it over the bar, then there was, um, that was at nil-nil. Then after that, it was almost like it woke us up. Samba de Conga looked so rusty in that first 15 minutes, mm. but I felt he grew into the game and I felt he got a lot, lot better in the game. You can see he was nervous. Mm. Yeah, you can see that he was a little bit on edge. But the one thing I liked about him is he never gave up. He always wanted the ball. Granite yeah, Jack's def- first half was just, wow. I don't, I don't recognise him. I don't recognise him. It's like, it's like I stopped expecting him to do, do a few um, French connections. I, but you know what helped? You know what helped um, Xhaka, Odegaard, and a lot of our, our players today is that every time Villa come here, especially last season, they come here with a very like slight team and they want to play the ball, and that helps us. There's no need for um, you know Grant Xhaka to sort of like play that anchor role. You can just let um, Albert do it, and they can just go up because Villa's game plan helps our midfielders. You know, mm. I, I was really worried about you know not having um, even El Nini. Especially not having part of it because I thought we had to win the midfield battle. But I think it was the there wasn't 
Villa did have a midfield. You know, you would have thought so like McGinn would have, um, you know, like I said, um, played his eye out and, you know, probably um, gave him a bit of presence, but he wasn't there. It was a clear game plan to, to spoil and see if they can nick something. And I think it's similar to Fulham. And I think we've got to get used to the fact that teams, like, you know, obviously the two teams we played, but I'm convinced Everton would definitely play that way. There's no way Everton are going to come here and um, have a go. Because, well, not, you know, not after last season, at the end of the no, not, so not, season yeah. when they got Wallace yeah, you know, we, 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 we just have to keep on getting those bodies forward, raise our tempo, make sure we have enough um, bodies in the box and we'll, we'll overcome these sides because they will crack. Mm. Well, one thing I want to ask you, um, Ben White went off um, yes. on TV. Yeah, I don't know what it was like, the feeling in the ground, but when he went off, yeah, I was like, oh, Ben White's going off. Again, I thought he played really well today. I yeah. thought so as well, yeah. And, and he went off and then the physio spoke to him obviously i couldn't lip read what he said but it was like okay maybe that was because i thought it may be tactical but then it was like for like and then he went off and he sat down and i was like mm, okay maybe you've done a knock then odegaard um kicked the ball yeah, out when he had the ball yeah it's definitely not substituted and again the physio was talking to him and it looked like maybe an ankle knock with him he had a, a, a like he was sat with one boot off and blah 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 mm. Then Ramsdale goes down and we're thinking, oh, mate, please. Yeah. yeah, And he's holding his hamstring and he's saying to the ref, it's Paul. But he carried on the game. We're we're on a tightrope with injuries. It's not, it's not, it's, 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 what do we need to do, fun. Kenny? What do we need it's to not, do tomorrow, man? Well, tomorrow we definitely need to get a forward in just to give them our forwards protection, a bit of variety. 100% without fail, we need a centre midfielder. It's not even the, um, negotiable or even a part of the debate, you know. We are really significantly weak in there. Don't get me wrong. If you look at the games we've played today, Villa didn't have a midfield, but we know May United are going to have a bit of presence in midfield. They've got Casemiro. They've also got Fred, who's very industrious. And, you know, McTominay will work, run his nuts off and put his tackles in. Not saying that, you know, that all of them have got, of, um, got great quality, but what they do have is Endeavour. And they, they, they now have a clear pain. So you don't want to go in midfield, you, you know, Without, without, you know, someone like, you know, Partey there. It's highly unlikely he's going to play. Oh, and then he's definitely not going to play. So, again, we're asking Albert to do, do a job. Because, you know, even the Sashenko option is not available because he's injured as well. So, you know, it'd be nice. Arsenal should really go into the market. You know, I don't think Edu's work's done now at the moment. But, you know, you know what it's like. I'm sure a TV channel said that he's the star of the transfer um, window. Don't know why he said that. <laughs> But what he what he needs to do is that you know let's wait until like um, eleven o'clock tomorrow. A hundred percent. Listen, we if Martin Odegaard's out, yeah, and and he went off from what looked on TV like an injury. Obviously, I'm recording this as as the press conference is probably going on. Blah blah blah. Mm. Yeah, but Ben White looked like he was injured slightly. Luckily, mm. he was back. But at the same time. It just goes to show that if you have a couple of injuries to key players, that bench tonight mm. was not great. Yeah, and it was nice no, to see him get some minutes tonight and get him on the pitch again because I feel like we're going to need him. The one thing I will say is fans are desperate to see Fabio Vieira and Marquinhos. Yeah, 100%. And with the players that we've got, and Saka again tonight wasn't great. No. But why? And he got subbed in the end. But why are we not seeing Vieira? Why are we not seeing Marquinhos? Because it's clear that Saka needs some kind of help. It, I don't know what it is with Saka, but mm. first half, I thought he was electric. He was spinning mm. players. Second half, it was almost like he ran out of fuel. We we need help for that boy, man. And we need help for uh, maybe Odegaard as well. The good the good thing about it is that, I know I know it's probably small measures, but the fact is, is that we've got a very condensed programme where, you know, you wait through, you've got an agreement with FIFA where, all the um, group matches of the, of the um, you know, Champions League, obviously we're not in it, but Europa League have to be cleared before um, we go on our break in November. So that is probably a good time to give um, these cup players come and rest. But the problem is, it's momentum. Mm. It's about the Premiership as well. We know Saka needs a rest. We're begging for our rest. But the thing about the Premiership is there's no giveies. Despite yeah. the fact Villa had no midfield, they still made it hard for us. And sometimes, you know, you know, we, they're talking about the situation with Tuchel and Chelsea. You know, you've got to be 100% at it because if you're less than 100% or 90% at it, then that that 10, minus 10% could cost you um, points in big games. And that's probably one of the reasons why Mikel wants to play his first team. And sometimes I'm tempted by that. But when you look at his 
performances continuously, especially in the second half. He runs out of uh, out of um, gas, runs out of ideas as well. Because it's not just the gas he's um, Saka's running out of; it's ideas as well, mm. and and that that has to be like some sort of concern. It's like you would have thought last season would have been a season when. You know, defenders will work him out, and he, he will have some sort of like what we call it burnout. But it seems like, you know, everything's culminated. There was probably like a loss of form towards the end of last season, but coming into this season, there definitely has been like, um, how do I say it? He's lowered his standards a little bit. Not not in terms of he's not doing it on purpose, but in terms of performances, they're not they're not of the level. They're not of the level, but he's before March. A level where we now expect that. And um, well, he's still he's still, out, he's still he's still um, he, believe whether we like it or not. You know, Mikel still seems in the match winner. When I see Saka run at defenders, I I I know. Well, I thought I knew that he's gonna <laughs> if, it, if he's gonna have a clear shot on goal and create you know or, or pass, yeah this pick a pass in... or or. Even even so, he's not even getting away from his his um def- his defenders, and that's mm. something that I always pride on. Second, I always thought, you know, remember my our motto used to well, Mikel's motto seemed to be get the ball to Saka and he win the game. Right now, it's other players who who are, who are playing well. Odegaard's playing well. He's shown some leadership. Gabriel Martinelli on the other side is 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 probably like twice more effective than um, Saka is at the moment. And obviously, Jesus is um another another player that's effective. So. Really and true, we're winning matches in spite of Bakayo, which right. where before we were winning matches because, a lot of, because of Bakayo mostly. So that's got to be a concern. Absolute fact. Hey, listen, Kenny, get home safely. Uh, are you around for player ratings? Let me know. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So right, you, you, what, it'd be nice to have you on player ratings, Kenny. Don't worry, well, 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 I better get to the train station. I'll make sure I get me Yeah, I've got to get us waiting. Then Matt and I'll do myself as well. And then right. um, yeah, give us about 45 to an hour. Get home safely, mate. And oh, okay. uh, we're out of here. I'll take her out. Always.